Let's give God some glory, those that are online, those that are here in the building. Let's just begin to bless the Lord and give him glory, give him honor. Lord, we lift you up, God. We magnify you, God. We thank you, Father. We thank you, God. We glorify you for this day. You're worthy of the glory, Lord. Tonight, we're coming together. Uh, we are praying for our musicians. We're praying for our singers. We're praying for our music ministries. We're praying for all those things that are connected to our musical gifts. As we are uh, striving and we're growing as musicians and growing as minstrels, we understand that the enemy has a plan to attack our gifts because of the power that is behind the gift when we yield it to the Father and we yield it to him. And so today we are combating against the spirit of darkness over our gifts. We need to make sure that our musicians stay covered, that our singers stay covered. Amen. Come on up. Uh, amen. So we, that's what we're doing tonight. We are going before God in prayer. We're going with God with everything that we have. Amen. Amen. So tonight we're not holding anything back. We're not holding anything back. We're going to give God our all. Whatever your prayer is, whatever your request is, whatever you need from the Lord, we're going to put that on the altar tonight. Okay. I want you to get being going to put that on your mind. Okay. I'm going to start off with the word of prayer and then I'm going to pass it over to Pastor uh, Gerard Brooks, who is here with us. And uh, we're going to be here. We're not rushing. I don't have, it's no program. They no none of that <laughs> welcome stuff. We're not doing any of that. We're literally going in before the Lord. If you have prayer requests that you want to have submitted and you want to call them out, you can do so. Those that are online, if you want to submit them anonymously, you can send me a private message and we'll, we'll make sure we cover that point in prayer as well. All right. So Father God, we thank you. We glorify you, God. We magnify you. We extol you because you're worthy of the glory. You're worthy of the honor. You're worthy of the praise from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Lord, you indeed are worthy. Let's just lift up our voices and begin to saturate this house with the worship. Saturate this house with your with the gratitude. Even those that are virtual, let's begin to open up our mouths, begin to create a space right where you are for the Holy Spirit to begin to move, for the Holy Spirit to have his way. Le corre ma zete la ban lo do bos komaya zete le be corre ma sataya God lo saturate this place oh God we thank you that you are the omnipresent God that even as you can be with us you are with those that are even virtual you are with us those that are even on their way I thank you God for your presence I thank you for your power God I thank you oh God that you've given us a heart to seek your face you've given us a mind to come after you Lord you've given us a desire oh God to go before your presence with every Everything that we have, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, God. Before I ask for anything, Lord, before I make any petition, before I make any request, Lord, I want to tell you thank you. Thank you for how you have kept me, how you've covered us, oh God, how you've shielded us, how you've guided us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. And I glorify you, God. I magnify you, Lord. I thank you even for the fact that I'm here right now. Shows that you've kept me, God. Even after this pandemic that we've gone through, Lord, you have kept us. Either you kept us through it or you kept us from it, oh God. But God, we thank you that you are our keeper. Lord, I thank you that you are our God. God, I thank you, God, that you are faithful and that you will never fail us, God. Oh God, we give you glory, Lord. Oh God, we give you honor, Lord. Oh God, we magnify you, Lord. Oh God, we lift you up, Father. You're worthy, Lord. You're a sovereign king. You're a mighty king, Lord. You're an awesome king, God. And we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, have your way tonight, Lord. Have your way, oh God. Move by your spirit, Lord, like never before, Father. In the name of Jesus. Us, uh, touch us, oh God, at the point of our needs, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, one by one and name by name, oh God. Every musician that's here, oh God, every singer that's here, oh God, that's represented, oh God, that's come here uh, tonight, Lord, I pray that you would touch them now in the mighty name of Jesus, that you would guard their minds now. In the name of Jesus, that you would cover our minds now, Father. In the name of Jesus, that we'll keep our minds stayed on your father.
Father. In the name of Jesus, we come against the warfare against the mind that tries to cause insanity, that tries to cause schizophrenia, that tries to cause dementia, that tries to cause Alzheimer's. We come against it right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I thank you that your blood is covering now. I thank you that your blood prevails, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we give you glory, God, and we give you honor, Lord, and we give you praise, Father, because it belongs to you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you that we're casting down every thought and everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God in the name of Jesus. But, Lord, keep our minds stayed on you, Lord. Keep our spirits humbled before you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you. Oh, God, we glorify you. Oh, God, we magnify you. Lord, touch that heart now, Father, in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the spirit of pride that sets up in the heart of the musician, Lord, that sets up in the heart of the worship leader, that sets up in the heart of the choir member, that thinks that their gift is better, God, that think that they are all of that, God, that tries to exalt themselves against their assignment, above their assignment. But, Lord, I pray, oh God, that you would grant us a spirit of humility, Father, in the name of Jesus, that we would gain a proper perspective of who you are and who we are, that the gift that you've given us is a treasure. It is something that we should cherish, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that it's not a token, oh God, to be braggadocious or arrogant, Lord, but in the name of Jesus, Lord, teach us, oh God, to use the gift that you place in our hands as an instrument, oh God, as a weapon against the spirit of darkness, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you. Oh, God, we glorify you, Father. Oh, God, we magnify you. We lift you up, Father. We glorify your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we cover marriages tonight, Lord. We cover our marriages tonight, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that you're keeping our marriages oh God in the, that you put your blood is covering oh God that husband and that wife now in the name of Jesus because the enemy understands if he can destroy the home he can destroy our ministry yeah, uh, we know that we can't focus clearly if our if we're distracted with a lot of trials at home. But Father, I thank you now that your blood is covering, that your blood is going into that home and bringing restoration. It's bringing healing, Lord. It's bringing freedom now. It's Hallelujah! I thank you, Father. I glorify your name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, and we give you glory, and we give you honor, Lord, and we give you praise because it belongs to your father in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus God we're crying out now for you Lord we're calling on your name Jesus because that's the only name that can save us Jesus because that's the only name that can deliver us Lord Jesus that's the only name that can turn the situation around Jesus Lord in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Cover us, oh God. Cover our children, Lord. Keep them, oh God. Cover our families, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory, God. We give you honor, Father. We give you praise, oh God, because it belongs to you. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. God, we thank you. You're a wonder my soul, Lord. You're a wonder in my soul, Lord. You're a wonder in my soul, Father. And we give you glory, Lord. And we give you honor, Father. And we give you praise, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we cover every bereaved family now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we cover, oh God, even our sister April now in the name of Jesus that you would touch her in the loss of her mother, Lord. In the name of Jesus that you would 
comfort them, God, in the name of Jesus. Keep them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of division now. We bind the spirit of strife now. We bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. But Lord, in this time, let them come together. In this time, let them find love and unity in one another, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we give you glory, God, and we give you honor, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray, oh God, that your spirit will begin to revitalize our ministries, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that dehydrated ministry, Lord, that is operating off of a former glory, God. Lord, I pray a fresh wind would blow through that sanctuary, would blow through that household, God, in the name of Jesus. But Lord, let them see your glory, God. Let them see your power as they have before, God, in the name of Jesus. Purify our oil, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Clean the locusts and the flies out of our oil, God, in the name of Jesus, that we can present to you a pure gift, God, that we can present to you a pure anointing, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father. 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 Oh, God, we thank you that you're touching those leaders, Lord. You're touching our leaders, oh, God, our pastors, Lord. Oh, God, you're touching them and you're helping them, oh, God, as they navigate our churches, oh, God, through these trying times, Lord. We lift up our leaders now in the name of Jesus. We lift up our pastors now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. But, Lord, we pray that you will show us, oh, God, how we can use our gift to be a help to our ministries, Lord, in the name of Jesus, but Lord, that we will not operate out of a spirit of arrogance, believing that we are the move of God, believing that we are what the people are coming for, but Lord, where we are just a part of the body, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, release your prophetic word now, in the name of Jesus, through our minstrels and through our psalmist, Lord in the name of Jesus, that they will not just get up and just sing song after song and will just sing a set below. They will minister to the needs of the house, Lord, that you are create, making our spirit sensitive to your move, God, sensitive to your voice, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you. Oh, God, we thank you. Oh, God, we thank you. God, do a new thing in us, oh, God. Lord, we don't want an anointing of old God but Lord grant us a fresh anointing somebody say a fresh anointing we need a fresh anointing oh God a fresh anointing oh God a fresh anointing Lord we need a fresh anointing father in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we say yes to your will Lord we say yes to your way oh God Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Keeps ringing in my soul, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, in the morning, Lord. We say yes to your Father. Come on, we say yes to your Father. We say yes to your Father. We say yes to you now, Lord. We say yes, Lord. La namasitoya. We say yes, God. We say yes, Lord. Whatever your will is, God, we say yes, Lord. Whatever your desire is, we say yes, Lord. Whatever you tell us to do, Father, we will say yes, Lord. Wherever you tell us to go, God, we'll go, God. Whatever you tell us to do, Lord, we'll do it, Lord. In the name of Jesus. We set our agendas aside, Lord, that you be glorified. We set our agendas aside, Lord, that you be magnified. We set our agendas aside, Father. Yes, God. Mm. Yes, God. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Let your fire fall, Lord. Let your fire fall now and burn up everything that's not like your father. Burn up everything that's in our hearts now that should not be. Lord, we lay it on the altar now in the name of Jesus. Burn it up, oh God. Burn it up, oh God. 
God, I thank you that you're revealing, oh God, the wolves in sheep's clothing, that you're revealing the true intentions of those that have become close and connected to us, Lord. But in the name of Jesus, you're granting us the fire and the boldness to sever the tie of the enemy, Lord, to sever the relationship now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you. Oh, God, we thank you. Oh, God, we thank you. Oh, God, we glorify you. Oh, God, we magnify you. Because it belongs to you, Lord. Because it belongs to you, Lord. And we lift up a worship now, God. We lift up a worship now, Father. We lift it up to you now, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. We say yes, thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we give you glory today. We give you honor today, God. We give you glory. We give you honor today, Jesus. Your name is great and your name is mighty. Father, we love your name today, oh, God. We love your holy name today, Lord. We bless your name, oh, God. We bless your name, oh, God. We bless your name, oh, God. Yes, Jesus, yes. Yes, Jesus, yes. Yes, Jesus, yes. I hear that in my spirit. Yes, Jesus, yes. 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 Jesus, yes. Jesus, yes, yes, Jesus, yes, yes, Jesus, yes. Yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus, yes, yes, Jesus, yes. Yes, Jesus, yes. Oh, yes, Jesus, yes. Jesus, yes. Jesus, yes. Oh, yes, Jesus, yes. Hey! Yes, Jesus, yes. Yes, Jesus, yes. Jesus, yes. Jesus, yes. Oh, my heart will say yes. My heart will say yes. My heart will say yes. Hey! Jesus, yes. Jesus, yes. My heart will say yes. My heart will say yes. My heart will say yes. Jesus, yes. Jesus, yes. My mind will say yes. Yay! My mind will say yes. My mind will say yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus, yes. My soul will say yes, my soul will say yes, my soul will say yes, Jesus, yes. 
Jesus, yes. Woo! <laughs> My soul <laughs> will say yes. My soul will, my soul will say yes. My soul will say yes. Jesus, yes. Jesus, yes. I lift my hands and say yes. Jesus, yes. No matter how I feel right now, yes. Jesus, yes. No matter what I'm going through, yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus, yes, I love you, Jesus, 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 yes, yes, Jesus, yes, my soul says, yes, Jesus. Such yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus, yes. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God is waiting on you to tell him yes. He's waiting on a yes. He's waiting on a yes. He's waiting on your yes. He's waiting on your yes. He's waiting on your yes. in your yes <laughs> the answer is in your yes the strength that you need is in your yes the clarity that you need is in your yes tell them yes Tell him yes. Oh yes. Woo, that's that's some on that right there. Jesus, yes. Yes, Jesus, yes. Yes, Jesus, yes. Jesus, yes. Jesus, yes. I surrender, I say yes. Not going to fight no more, I'll say yes. I surrender, I say yes. Jesus, yes. I won't fight no more, I'll say yes. I won't fight no more, I'll say yes. I won't fight no more, I'll say yes. Jesus, yes. Jesus, yes. As Minister Banks was praying, he was praying everything, just about everything that I wrote down in my prayer points. One thing that he touched on, and I want to just start right there, I want to pray for marriages. One of the first ones I wrote down was marriages. Because as someone being called 
into ministry, whether it's singing, whether it's preaching, whether whatever it is. Since God has ordained marriage from the foundation of the world, from the beginning, the enemy hates it. And there have been many marriages that have been destroyed because the enemy came in and there was an understanding between the two people that were married. And so a lot of times ignorance is the enemy's tool that he uses to divide and conquer. And so I'm praying for marriages right now because there are a lot of <laughs> there are a lot of people who got married and were psalmists and musicians but because of the temptation and because of the pressure and because of the enemy there were great marriages that have been destroyed and so I want to pray for marriages today Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for those that are psalmists and musicians that are married. Those that are struggling in their marriage because of infidelity, because of someone just not being on the same page as the other one. Huh. So we come against that divisive spirit, the spirit of jealousy, spirit of pride that would come in between marriages right now. I'm praying, oh God, for there to be such an anointing to whereas there will be support there will be love there will be building up and not tearing down come against the enemy that would try to cause one person in the marriage to to go after things that doesn't have anything to do with God. I pray for the spouses of those that are leading worship. Hallelujah. I pray for the spouses that they will that they will be a help to their mate. That they will recognize the anointing that is on not only the lives of their spouse, but the anointing that's on them. I pray, God, for a special grace to be upon marriages. I pray for a spirit of fellowship. A spirit of unity. Your word declares how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is as the oil that flows down from Aaron's beard to his skirts to his garments. We pray for unity right now, God. We pray for unity in, in marriages today of the psalmist and the musician, oh God. Lord, help them to understand that everything that they need is in each other. That they don't have to go out and look for nothing else. Lord, we know, oh God, that you're able to do it. Lord, we ask that you would bind those that are married together, Lord. No more divorce. No more divorce. In the name of Jesus, we come against that, that spirit, that spirit of pride, 
spirit of headiness. Let there be unity, Father. Let there be unity in marriages today. Father, we need integral marriages. We need marriages that will honor you, God. That when the world see us, that they see your glory. Don't let us be a statistic. Don't cast us down, God. When there is disagreement and where there is strife, oh God, let love abide in the name of Jesus. Let love abide in marriages, even when it's confusion and when there's strife. Let them know, oh God, that they have each other because they follow you. I pray for understanding hearts, and I pray for forgiving hearts. God, release each of them to forgive one another. Your word says to forgive as you forgave. Even if the pain is tough, even if what they've done was so horrible and so bad and so tough, I just pray for a spirit of love and forgiveness. Move in marriages today especially in the area of, of music. There's so many, so many stereotypes and so many sayings of musicians only, they, the, 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 the musician want to get with the girl in the choir. Lord, we come against that spirit right now. We come against that spirit of lust and whoremonger. We come against it right now in the name of Jesus. The musician and the psalmist will be holy. The musician and the psalmist will be holy. The musician and the psalmist will be holy. The musicians and the psalmist will be holy. The musician and the psalmist will be holy. I declare it and I decree it. Let your holiness, let the fear of the Lord let the reverence of God be upon the psalmist now. Bless every home that's represented. And Lord, I pray that you bless the children of those that are married. Because the children also suffer from pain and anxiety watching the parents go through and yell and scream and argue oh God cover them oh God cover the children Lord God they don't understand they don't know but Lord cover the children today God yes the blood of Jesus be on them Lord. help them to raise their children in the fear and the admonition of God. Help them to make the word of God the main thing in their homes. Even if the child stray, it won't be because they didn't teach him. It won't be because they didn't show him. But oh God, let your word, let your word take full recourse in our homes. Oh God, we esteem your word above everything. We esteem your word above everything. Have your rightful place. Have your rightful place in our homes. Have your rightful place in our homes. Have your rightful place. If we put you first, we'll never come in second. If we put you in, if we put you first, 
who will never come in second. Move by your spirit, Lord Jesus. I'm tired of hearing about musicians, marriages being a, 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 a sham and a shame. called us to represent you in this earth and we're not perfect we know we're not perfect but we're striving for perfection so Lord as your word says let us have one mind let us be understanding let us be loving and let us also push each other to encourage and love one another in the name of Jesus we love you today God we give your name praise today we give your name praise today we give your name praise in line with your word so we won't be out of place we line up with your word so we won't be out of place we be leave your word and we won't be out of place. We believe your word. And we won't be out of place. We repent of our sins. So we won't be. of our sins so we won't be out of place Holy Spirit have your way we won't be out of place Holy Spirit have your We won't be out of place. We won't be ashamed. And we won't care if we're out of place. 
sorrisa oh, We won't be ashamed So we don't care if we're out of place So we get in line with your word we won't be out of place we light up with your word and we won't be out Right now we pray for balance. We pray for balance. Hallelujah. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. We pray for balance. It says in Proverbs that an unjust weight, God hates it. So we don't want to be out of place. <laughs> we don't want to be out of place. So I pray for balance. I'm guilty. I must confess. I'm guilty that sometimes things can be unbalanced. And when things in your life is unbalanced, a lot of things can happen. <laughs> God wants just weights. God wants balance. You can't just have a lot of this <laughs> and a little bit of this. You can't have all skill and no anointing. You can't have all the talent in the world and not have a prayer life. You have to have balance. So many people walk away from God because they don't have balance. And people see it eventually when there's no balance if you're going to be a psalmist if you're going to be a musician you have to couple that thing with the word of God you have to couple that thing with a lifestyle that pleases God hallelujah I know I'm talking to somebody most of us have been through this the song said, I've been running for Jesus a long time and I'm not tired yet. Well, I do get tired. I get weary even sometimes. But what I've learned is that you have to have balance. You can't be gung-ho about your quote-unquote music career and you don't know his word. You can't be gung-ho as an artist that's the term that we throw around as worship leaders is artist. And you don't pray. You don't seek God. You don't live a life that's pleasing. You have to have balance. Watch this. You can't be all word and no fire. You can't be all fire and no word. Ah! You have to have balance. A double-minded man or woman says in James is unstable in all of his ways. Watch this. I don't know why I'm going into preaching mode right now. 
but you can't be all worship leader, psalmist, and artist and not take care of home. Can't say amen, say ouch. There has to be balance. I used to go and go and go and go and go and go and go because I love doing it. But one day it caught up with me. <laughs> I didn't have balance, so things were out of place. Begin to miss things. <laughs> Begin to be unstable. When you don't have balance, it, it, it hurts your marriage too. Hurts your job. You have to have balance. Whether you're single, whether you're married, whether you're a psalmist, whether you're a musician, you have to stop have some balance. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for clarity and balance. I pray for the psalmist that has a heart for God, but also has an amazing gift. Don't let them go down the road of trying to be the artist and looking at other people and seeing what they're doing and saying, I want to achieve that. But Father, give them the grace and the humility to serve you and only you. And I even pray, oh God, as your word says, your word says that if we delight ourselves in you, that you would give us the desires of our hearts. So I pray for balance in marriages, balance in in ministry I pray for balance when it comes to their home when it comes to their responsibilities just as anointed as their their singing and their playing ability is they have that same anointing when it comes to their finances they have the same anointing when it comes to their jobs the same anointing when it comes to treating their neighbor right I come against the spirit of arrogance and the spirit of pride. That spirit of just because I can sing or just because I can play, I can treat everybody terribly. The devil is a liar. God does not operate in that. That's witchcraft and rebellion. And we come against that spirit and we tear it down. We pray for balance. Balance. In the name of Jesus, let the anointing of God show up every time they minister, but also let the anointing of God show up when they put the mic down. Let the anointing of God flow as they're playing the, mu the, the music but also let the anointing flow when they're in the store. <laughs> and I even pray that the same level of anointing that they have when they minister will be the same anointing they have when they read your word and when they declare your word. But the same power that they sing, that to be the same power that they preach in it. Let it be prevalent. Let it be obvious that they are walking with you. Hmm. Let it be obvious that when they flow under the anointing of God, that when they are done ministering, that they can see a tangible anointing. That they can see a tangible anointing. That it won't just be a Sunday morning anointing. 
that it won't be a lights, camera, action anointing. But it'll be an anointing to where as things will change when they open their mouth, that they can lay hands on the sick and the sick recover, that they can prophesy in dark places, that the light of God be shown. Oh God, let there be a let there be an anointing in this atmosphere for the psalmist and the musician to walk in the power of God. Yes, God. Let there be balance in the name of Jesus. Hey. This is a prayer of provision. Ah. This is a prayer of provision. Sometimes as artists and as psalmists, here we go with the balance again. I'm just being open and honest and I'm moving as the Spirit of God moves in me. We take from our home and pour it and invest it into what we're trying to do. And I understand it and I get it. But there has to be balance. <laughs> you know you got bills to pay. Bible says, oh, no man, nothing but love. <laughs> I pray for provision. I pray that your home is blessed. I pray that God will give you wisdom. Hey, glory. I feel God on this right here. I pray God will give you wisdom on the wisdom for the psalmist and the musician, that God will give them the wisdom to know what to do with their money. I don't know why, that's the craziest thing that could come out of my mouth right now, but it makes so much sense at the same time. Give them wisdom to handle what God has given them so that they can do the work of the kingdom. Your word says that if you're faithful over a few things, I'll make you ruler over many. Come on up a little higher. <laughs> God wants you to come up higher, but he wants you to also be faithful of the few things. The few engagements that they call you where there's two or three people. And sometimes they don't give you anything. But you go. God said that he, he will supply. He will supply all of your needs. According, watch this, to his riches. Don't you know that he has riches? Reverend, he, he has riches. pastor used to say he owns the cattle on a thousand hills I pray I pray in the name of Jesus that you be patient I'm not praying for patience I pray that you be patient <laughs> God has not forgotten you He knows the dreams and the thoughts. Woo, he knows. I'm praying that you be patient. I'm praying that you don't do something stupid to abort the plan of God on your life. 
Our God is a God of provision. I've been thinking about that, about Abraham, and he was going to offer up Isaac. <laughs> Isaac was like, well, where's the lamb? He said, the Lord will provide. That's been in my spirit all day today. He's Jehovah Jireh. Hey! He will provide. So Lord, I ask, oh God, that you would just have your way in their lives. That you would provide as you said you would. Mm. Yes, God. Woo! I see God working some things out in your life. I don't know who I'm talking to. Could be somebody in this room. Could be somebody that's watching, somebody that's listening. But I just, I, when I close my eyes, I literally see God working. <laughs> I see them, I see them like working, like the, the tool belt, the hat. But he was working it out through. So many times, and I've done this myself, we wanna, we wanna, we wanna do God's job. And then God, He's so wise and so good, He'll say, Well, go on and do it. And let's see, let's see how you come up with it. Because you're gonna come back to me anyway. <laughs> I pray for provision in the name of Jesus. I pray for vision. I pray for vision. We perish because of lack of knowledge and vision. Hmm. My pastor used to always say, I always say stuff that he say he's dead and gone now. He used to always say money don't have eyes got to see for him. <laughs> I was young. I used to be like, what? What that mean? I pray that God will give you the vision and that you continue to work on the vision until you see the vision come to pass. Though the vision Perry, wait for it. It's going to take a grip. It's going to take a minute. But write the vision. Make it plain that they may run. Lord, I pray that you will enhance the vision of the worship the psalmist let them know it's bigger than a check on Sunday let them know it's bigger than an opportunity it's bigger than a song it's bigger than it's bigger than all of that there are souls involved there are people hanging in the balance give them the vision to see what you're showing them feel like Elijah and the young man looked and he saw that it was surrounded by all of the army or whatever the prophet said Lord open his eyes he opened his eyes and saw that he was surrounded by the heavenly host that it was more on God's side than it was on the enemy's side. This is how we fight our battles. <laughs> it may look like I'm surrounded. But 
we're surrounded by the Father. Lord, open the psalmist's eyes. Open the musician's eyes. It's bigger than them. It's bigger than a musical experience. But it's all for the kingdom of God. Man, I feel the anointing of God here. And I believe God took me through all of this stuff so that I can be legit in telling you what I'm telling you. I done been in, some of y'all done seen me go through this stuff that's in this room. I ain't perfect, but I, the God that I serve is. <laughs> and God allows us to go through what we go through to be a testimony and to be authentic so that we can honestly say what the Lord has done. This is how I fight my best. This is how I fight my best. Yeah. This is how I fight my battle. Yeah. This is how I fight my battle. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. This is how I fight. This is how I fight my battles. Yeah. This is how I fight my battles. I let God fight for me. This is how I fight my battles. Yeah. Stay right there. Praying in the Spirit. This is how I fight my battles. Praying in the Spirit. Dwelling in your presence. This is how I fight my battles. I let God fight for me. Oh Lord, this is how I fight my battles. Let me say this. You ought to let them fight your best. Stop trying to fight your best. If you hold your peace, let the Lord fight your battles. Victory shall be yours. This is how I fight my battles. Yeah. Two more things I want to pray. Get me done. I pray for the heart of God. As a psalmist. Hey! As a musician, we have to know God's heart. What is God saying? How can I be used of God? God, how do you want to minister in this moment? 
How can I get out of the way so that you can have the full attention that you deserve? God, I want your heart. Break, break me with what breaks your heart. If it hurts you, God, it hurts me. If it makes you happy, I'm excited. God, I want your heart. I need your heart. I need your heart so that I can know how to minister, so that I can know how to praise you, so that I can know how to say what you need me to say. I know, I want to know how you want me to, how do you want me to love? How do you want me to speak the truth in love? I'm not leaving the musicians out either because sometimes the musicians can take over an entire service and make it about them. But sometimes God can move on the psalmist, the musician, the, the minstrel, and God can come through like a mighty rushing wind. How do I know that? The Bible says that when Saul was tormented by the demons, he said, bring me a minstrel. The Bible says that when David played, I don't know what he played. I don't know if it was a Hammond B3 or a harp or a guitar, a drum, a stick, a, 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 a ding, a ding, ding, ding. I don't know what to call it, the triangle. But whatever he played, the Bible says that the Spirit left him. David had the heart of God. When God looked at David, he didn't see the instrument. He saw his heart. Don't the Bible say that David was a man I pray for every psalmist, every musician, every minstrel that they have, especially in this region, in this region that we're in, I pray for the heart of God. That they would be sensitive to God's heart. That there would be a, 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 a wave of sincerity. Whether it's a traditional Baptist church, whether it's a hot Pentecostal church, I just pray that when the when the music, with the, I, I pray, I pray that on on Sunday when when we're in service, that there be a spirit of sincerity, and that if, even if they're singing, Jesus will work it out. That tears will roll down the musicians' faces. That the joy of the Lord will will, will emanate from the psalmist. Pray for the heart of God. That when God sees us, He doesn't just see another musician trying to get a gig. He don't see another psalmist trying to get on, trying to get a contract, trying to get on the on the whatever the, the whatever the contest is. But that God will see their heart. One last thing. My okay. One last thing. I pray spirit of intercession. Woo! Actually, there's two people in this room. Actually, everybody, everybody that's in this room right now has a spirit of intercession on them. Everybody that's in this room. I know they got a prayer life. I know for a fact. I know for a fact. Man, God must have set this up like for real, for real. I 
I can, I can, I literally, I can just pass this mic to any of them. And they will call on the name of God. Grab the horns of the altar. <laughs> and call on the name of Jesus. But I pray for the spirit of intercession. That we will no longer just be up there just singing to get to the next song. But that God would give us a spirit of intercession. That throughout the service or throughout the meeting that we will pray and begin to bind the spirits that's not supposed to be there and that you would, that they would call down heaven. Lord, I just pray for the spirit of intercession. I'm not talking about the lay member. I'm talking about the psalmist and the minstrel. That even as they're ministering, that the spirit of intercession will come. And whatever they're singing will turn into a spirit of warfare. Prayer. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey! I'm calling for the intercessor. I'm calling you out. You're not just a psalmist. You're not just a musician. But you are an intercessor. You are an intercessor. God has called you to pray and not faint. God has called you to pray and not faint. Faint. He's calling you out. He's calling you up. He's calling you up. your prayers that will unlock it is your prayers that will bind it is your prayers that will loose the spirit of intercession is on you unlock it he's calling he's calling he's calling he's calling he's calling he's calling He's calling, he's calling, he's calling, intercede. He's calling, stand in the gap. He's calling, stand. He's calling, he's calling you higher. He's calling you deeper. He's calling you higher. Calling you deep. He wants you to see. He wants you to see. He wants you to see. That's why he's calling you. Don't think that is strange of the visions that you see. Don't think that is strange of what you hear in your ear but he's calling you he's calling you by your name he's calling you 
by your name. He knows your name. That's when we're most sensitive to the Spirit of God. God is saying, open yourself up to me. There is someone who needs your prayers. Forget about being an artist. That's, that's what changed everything. Remember back, at, remember back in the day when it was choirs and everybody sang together? You look at album covers, it's, it's the choirs and they got their long, nice flowing robes. And, and I know we try to get away from all of that. But there was a spirit of unity brought everyone together. And I'm not saying that it's bad being an artist. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. I don't want you to get the wrong idea. But it's a mindset <laughs> and a mentality. I gotta, I gotta get my, 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 my thing out. I gotta get my, my, my record out. I gotta, I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta work. I gotta, I gotta grind. It's my grind, you know. I, you know. What was David's grind? Well, did David have a grind? Get his get his psalms out there. Ooh, I feel the anointing right now. David was fleeing from Saul. And out of that came, the Lord is my shepherd. <laughs> I'm on the run, but lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. He was trying to, the king wanted to kill him. But the Bible says that he feigned himself and said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. He wasn't trying to be an artist. He had the heart of God. Oh my God, this will preach all day. You messed up when you asked the preacher to do this. Ooh, it took me to, but it took me to go through this to understand that it's not about being an artist. God, I love you. God gives us gifts and talents and our gifts will bring us before great men. Hallelujah. God has blessed me. I ain't going to lie. I'm, I'm not even going to sit up here and act like God ain't. God ain't. I've, I've sang at places that some people have dreamed. And it wasn't because I was so great or that my gift was so awesome because there's a whole lot of folks that can sing circles around me. But if God wants to set something up and bring it down, it's up to him. But it's not even about all that. I said all of that to say that God wants you to have his heart. Music departments, praise teams, worship teams I have a word for you 
You ready for this word? Get to know God's heart. Get to know his heart. Because sometimes you may not be able to trace his hand. David, so one time David was like, so, why are you cast down? Not going to always feel God. Not going to always have that moment, that, that moment when God comes in the room and it's just, David was all alone. David was in a David was in the company of people who were broke, busted, and disgusted. He didn't put on no program. He didn't put on no concert. <laughs> to get his, to get his, woo! <laughs> it's tight, but it's right, bro. He throw no concert so that he can get his, get his songs out and release them to the nations. Every man was discouraged to the point that they looked at David like, man, we follow you out here. And we, they, our, our, everything is just, the Bible says that what did David do? He encouraged Sometimes you ain't got time to, to, to write that, that multi-platinum CD to, to bless the nations. I ain't mad at the artists. I ain't mad at nobody that's, man, I, 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 man, we need more gospel. We need more worship. We need all of that. But don't get it twisted. Sometimes, Brother Rod, you got, to, you got to sing a concert to yourself. I'm sure, I'm sure you've been playing sometimes and the Spirit of God just hits you and you bless yourself. Thank God for His Spirit. You ain't got to be a, a, a psalmist or a, 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 a musician. My grandma used to put it like this. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, and all that he's done for me. She used to say, my soul! She said just like that, my soul! And she didn't even get to the hallelujah part. <laughs> so I pray for each and every psalmist. Your gift is going to make room. God's going to have provision. He's going to make a way. But before you go and, and take all your money and put it in your record, <laughs> because somebody said, yeah, while you were singing on Sunday morning. <laughs> before you do all of that, get to know God's heart. It's not about the art of worship. It's about having a heart of worship. Just lift your hands. And I want you to say this prayer with me. Father, forgive me for making this about me. never about me. It has always been about you. And as the song says, I'm coming back to the heart of worship because it's all about you. I repent of making it about me. From this day forward, I'm in of your heart. I just want you. I just need you. And I love you. 
you are the center of my worship. And I give you the glory, I give you the honor, and I give you the praise because it belongs to you. In Jesus' name. another hand of praise. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. We glorify you. We get ready to wrap up out of here. Um, I praise God. Thank you, Pastor uh, Brooks, for just allowing the Lord to use you and everybody that came out. Uh, there is something that he said that I'm, I'm not I'm not doing that because we're going to go. We generally let up by 830. This is, a, this is actually a weekly session. This is a part of a Mentor Promote University uh, course. And so every Tuesday at 7 o'clock we are here and we have different sectors that we're talking about that pertains to our gift and music ministry. And so periodically we're going to pause just to have a night of prayer and worship. The next one would be, what did I say? The 18th? January 18th is the next one that we will be having here at 7 o'clock. Um, and uh, We'll have Elder Colin McCree is going to be with us on that. No, no, I'm sorry. The 26th, I'm sorry. I, I, I had to change it. I didn't update you. I'm sorry. Uh, on the last Tuesday. So we're looking to do this every every other month on the last Tuesday. Okay, we're going to do this and take a break from the actual course. Um, but there was something while, while Pastor was up, and I want to release this over everyone who's here and those that are uh, online, that I believe that also – one of the things that the Lord is also doing in this season is that he's also restoring the joy of your gift for yourself. Because we are so used to playing and ministering to others that we forget the power of the gift ourselves. And we don't we're not replenished with our own gift. And the Lord is thinking of bringing us back to a place of restoration where we fall in love with the gift that he's given us all over again. Amen. I believe the Lord is doing that. We also have to understand, too, and I, I implore you, I want this prayer to not stop here. I want this to continue on because we have to understand something about music. We know we talk about the enemy. He moves in music, and we, we say all these things, but we fail to realize that in the earth that music is the only element that is currently present in the earth that was not created in the earth. Music is here. We have it here, but it did not start on the earth. It started in the heavens. And the intent of music is worship. Everything that it, that's the, at, the, at the bottom core, the bottom line of what music is, is worship. And so we have to make sure that everything that we're doing is as a sign of worship to our God. Amen. Amen. So we're going to be in prayer. We're going to continue in prayer. I'm actually going to ask my sister. She's going she's to close us out in prayer. Um, and say a prayer of covering for those that are leaving and just close out this moment uh, and this prayer, uh, uh, this, you know, this service here in a, in a word of prayer. Uh, but I implore you to continue this. All right. Continue this prayer in your spirit. Continue to pray for Kingdom Keys as well. This is our mission to help musicians and singers understand the power of the gift that God has given them. I heard pa as pastor was saying that, you know, that the Lord will, will, will bring you before a great meeting. He'll open up doors, you know, place you before a great meeting because your gift will make room for you. There it is. Your gift will make room for you, place you before a great men, but also teach you that, that your gift will get you in the room, but your character will allow you to stay in the room. Yes, sir. Your prayer life will allow you to stay in the room. Right. You know, the anointing of God on your life will allow you to stay there. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of people that are coming in, and it's like a revolving door. They're coming in and they're leaving right back out. As soon as they get in, what's on them allows them that gets them kicked right back out the room. But we believe that God is doing a new thing in the earth. Amen. 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 All right. So I'm going to call Kiara to come on up. And she's going to close out in prayer and, and just seal this moment in, uh, in, in a final prayer. Amen. Man, thank you guys for coming out. I, uh, if y'all want to support the school in, in other ways as well, like I said, tonight was was free, you know, free of charge. But if you want to just support the school and, and just be a partner, there are ways to do so. Just act, just let me know, and I, we can do that as well through Cash App or Venmo. Just look up Kingdom Keys Nation. Amen? All right, thanks. Uh, well, Lord, we thank you. 
We thank you for this prayer service. We thank you for the few that came here. We thank you for the ones that are even tuned in online. So now, Father, I ask now that the ones that were here, oh God, that you would do something for us, oh God, that you would keep us covered, God, as we travel home, oh God, even as we sleep tonight, God, that you allow us to be rested tonight, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, Lord, uh, uh, cover us while we are on the road, oh God, even keep us from accidents, oh God, seen and unseen, oh God, even the other people that are driving uh, other traffic, oh God, that you will keep them as well, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you will allow the blood of Jesus to cover us, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I apply the blood over our doorpost now, God, in the name of Jesus, and that everything that the enemy will try to do, uh, he cannot triumph, oh God. In the name of Jesus, you will block the hands of the enemy. That everything, that every plot, scheme, and trick, oh God, that he tries to do, I renounce it now. And I take it back by authority now, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Everything that he tries to speak to us, oh God, while we are yet sleeping, oh God. That you will come in now, oh God. And your presence will fill up our rooms now, God. In the name of Jesus. That by the name of Jesus, that everything shall bow. And everything every tongue shall confess that you are Lord and that you are King of kings and Lord of lords, oh God. You are the peace that surpasses all understanding. So now, God, we ask now that you allow us to find peace in you, oh God, that we will find rest in you, oh God. I'm even reminded of the story, God, when you were asleep on the boat, oh God, you commanded the storm to be at peace, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So God, allow us to have authority now and power, oh God, to command peace in the middle of the storm, to find rest in the middle of the storm. And everybody around us is worried about who you are and worried about us God that you are the God that says peace be still and everything around us will be quiet oh God in the name of Jesus I command that we are able to speak a thing and it will come to pass we are able to command something and we can change our, uh, our atmosphere God we can change our climate by who we are around oh God and by what we say and about God we, uh, how we operate oh God what we see so now Father engulf us now oh God encamp us now with your glory oh God dispatch your angels now father in the name of jesus and god we give you all the praise the glory and the honor in jesus name amen <laughs>